Alright, time for Vasa. This is definitely gonna be a very long sort of thing. Hopefully not, but it is gonna be long. Vasa. It's been a while since we put the Wind Nation behind us, but we're finally at our next stop. The Water Nation. I can hear flowing water. I feel cool and relaxed already. I hear they haven't been subject to as many ambushes here as other nations. Let's make our way inside. You appear to be a bona fide, bona fide messengers. Alright, please enjoy your visit. They don't seem to be too concerned about invaders. I guess they really hadn't had to deal with many attacks after all. That makes life easier for us at least. By the way, Irie, what kind of place is the Water Nation anyway? It's a land ruled over by Seiryu, the Blue Dragon. As you can see, the whole region is surrounded by water. Kinda reminds me of Hobaforte and Granvia. Look, Dry Crunch, the buildings are covered in coral and seaweed. Long ago, the, this town was once located beneath the sea. In time, water-type monsters settled here, which is how the town began to take shape. I'm not sure why the buildings look so similar to the ones in Hamaforte, though. Fascinating. I wonder if it was this beautiful back when it was still under the sea. Karm takes his surroundings while mumbling to himself. We follow his lead and look around us, too. It's so beautiful. It boasts a different kind of magnificence to that of Grazia. It's truly breathtaking. This is what journeys are all about. I just hope we don't have to deal with another another of Alsa's ambushes. No sooner has Karn finished speaking that the sound of bell bell rings throughout throughout the town. The gatekeeper we just passed starts rushing frantically about. The townspeople appeared confused, but no one shows any signs of evacuating. I hope I'm wrong, but is this what I think it is? I'd say so. Looks like it's an ambush. Sorry, I guess I must have jinxed us. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. At least I hope you haven't. I think that's just Karm's idea of a joke. Hey, G I Crunch. I know we just got here and all, but you know what we have to do. Let's help the gatekeeper out. Yeah, the least we can do is buy the townspeople some time to evacuate. We managed to hold them off, but that was quite an intense assault. I'm just glad you and Dry Crunch are safe, Karm. The gatekeeper was super grateful. We kept damage to town to a minimum, at least. Unfortunately, it appears many of the town's soldiers were injured in the process. What? That's unacceptable. Dry Crunch, let's go give them a hand. We followed the princess's orders and helped carry the injured soldiers to safety. Their injuries were more severe than I expected. Dry Crunch, there's supposedly a cleric in that building over there who can heal the wounded. Will he go check it out? What a crowd. It's a soldier's job to put their body on the line. I guess this means they fulfilled their duty admirably. All right, everyone, get in line. One at a time, please. Okay, here goes. Just relax for me. That light, she must be performing cleanse, cleanse healing. That's pretty impressive for such a young cleric. Hang on. Uh, is that... Just one more. This way, please. Long time no see, Renee. Why? Well, I never. Airy? Imagine meeting you here. Hold on, I'll fix you up right up. Fix you right up. Oh, it's quite the healing power the ability has. How can you heal so many people all at once like that? I'm a cleric of the Great Ether Church. That's where I met Airy, actually. She was always kind to me. Thanks to her... Progidious... Prog talent, people refer to Renee as the Great Hope. She's actually very chill, though. I'm just a regular person like everyone, uh, everybody else. <laughs> Excuse me. If it were up to me, I wouldn't want to work all the time, believe me. Now that you mention it, I heard stories about a Great Hope in the church. Something about her actually being really lazy and prone to skipping work. What? I never skip out on work. I always do whatever I'm asked, and I do it well. I won't deny I can be a little lazy at times, mind. Thing is, everybody makes out like I'm something special, so I can't walk two steps without being asked for something. Which is how I wind up being late for appointments every now and then. I know you're helping people, but you should probably prioritize appointments you made first, don't you think? Then you can go back to taking care of any other requests. Unfortunately, that won't work for all the bureaucratic red tape I have to go through at the church. They're so strict over there. 
Yeah, Karm, don't be so hard on her. Being famous is a complicated business. Bad rumors can spread in a flash. Cut her some slack, won't you? But if you're so busy, then why are you here? I'm on orders from Grata. I'm having to do work all across Sagiris. From Grata? What kind of orders? As soon as the request question escapes the princess's lips, the bell rang throughout the town again. Another ambush. Try crunch? Let's go. It's been so quiet here up till re now, but suddenly the frequency of all the attacks is increasing. Are they on to us? Stage three. All right, I need to grab my um, the uh, tissues. I well, guess bag, yeah. <laughs> oh. Good work. You too. Show me your wounds. I'll heal you. You really are as good as they say. Hmm. Anyway, where were we? You were talking about being under orders. What are they exactly? I'm purifying the ether that emanates throughout Sagiras, at the same time almost performing maintenance work on the towers in each nation. Towers? You mean like the one in the distance, for example? What are they exactly- for exactly? They monitor the surrounding ether to determine whether it's normal or, well, abnormal. Okay, and what purpose do they serve? Unfortunately, I can't go into any more detail. Not even to the princess? You're asking for information known only to a select few members of the Great Ether Church. I can't tell you any more than I already have. Great, that just makes me more curious. Irie, do you know anything about this? No, I can't say I do, sorry. The color suddenly drains from Irie's face. Together with Renee, she turns to look at the tower. Did you just feel that too? A strange sensation. Something's happened to the tower. We must hurry. Renee? Here we go again. Never a moment's rest with her, it seems. Try crunch. The road to the tower is dangerous. Please, you have to chase after Renee and see that she reaches the tower safely. I can't deny Irie's request, so I head after Renee at once. We managed to catch up to Renee. Thank you, Dry Crunch. Thanks, Irie. Honestly, I don't think I would have made it alone. Would you like to accompany us? Accompany you from here on as well? I appreciate the offer, but the run's the risk of leaking confidential information, so I'll have to decline. If you can take care of it by yourself, then by all means, be our guest. But there's no shame in asking for help. Whatever the tower is for, judging by your reaction back there, it must be pretty important. You can't let any anything happen to it, right? Renee, you can trust these people. They won't as so much mention it to another soul. Please believe us. Fine. You can join me, and thanks. I'm not much used to asking people for favors. I tell Renee she's more than welcome. Only for her cheeks to flush red. Glad to hear it. Better safe than sorry, eh? Thank you. You really are a kind bunch, huh? Much obliged. Now, assuming we've earned your trust, how about telling everyone what you know about the tower? Irie, you know I can't do that. I understand it's confidential information, but these people are here to help you. You understand that, don't you? So you're proposing a trade? Your help in return for my secrets? Not exactly, it's just a simple matter of trust. The less you hide from us, the better for everyone. Fine, I suppose if it's really going on with the tower, I'm going to need all the help I can get. Whatever it is, it sounds important. Renee looks at e each of us with a stern, serious face. Tell me. Have you all heard of Nasio? The god that ruled over the world back when it was still as one, Renee nods sagely. Good. So you're up to speed then. Now as you know, Sagiras is divided up into five nations surrounding a central sacred land. Each nation has his own tower. Do you know why? I mean there's a special reason. That sacred land is precisely where Nasio is sealed away. The towers are what strengthen the seal. What? It's impossible. Nasio really exists? I thought that was some kind of legend. I wish it was. Alas, Alsa is making his way to that sacred land with the goal of resurrecting Nasio. Or so I've heard, anyway. Did you know about this, Airy? No, I had no idea the sacred land housed as such a secret. It sounds unbelievable, but I guess we have no choice but to go along with it. Each tower is responsible for maintaining a part of the seal. 
The four beasts who rule each nation look after the towers, along with Korayu. So if something were to happen to one of those towers... That's right, Nasio's seal would be broken. And if that happens, Nasio is already dangerous enough as it is. If also were to get his hands on that kind of power, then we'd be in real trouble. It's to keep that from happening that I help to cleanse the ether and monitor the towers regularly. Make sure that they're all running smoothly while I'm at it. Earlier, I felt an unmistaken disturbance in the ether around the tower. We ought to investigate it at once. Yeah, and we will in the next video. See you guys later. Peace to Crispy. Bye, guys.